To this so I'm going to be showing y'all how to make pretty much like an African I'm just gonna say an African inspired wood piece of jewelry earring and I ran across these sticks I bought these sticks I'm gonna say a good a long time ago okay this is a real real old package of crafter crafter square okay these have the these are the sticks as well but see I buy stuff y'all and when I buy stuff, I don't always use it. And because I don't always use it, I always have stuff that I can go back to. You get 100 sticks, okay? And we're going to be using one of these. Now, I have already taken the liberty to paint out the pieces that I am going to be using for this project. The paint I'm using is this matte. This is matte acrylic paint, okay? So I've already painted my pieces, which is black. We're also going to be using this matte acrylic paint the white okay and i get these big big ones from walmart all right now when i got these these was on sale for 50 cent from time to time they do have these things on sale okay another item that i'm going to be using is this triple thick right here you don't necessarily have to use triple thick if you have mod podge uh, if you have gloss Mod Podge, because there are different ones, but you have to have the one that says gloss, okay? Mod Podge gloss, but this is triple thick, okay? And you can get this off of Amazon.com, all right? The next thing you're going to need, this is going to be a post earring, so you're going to need something similar to this. It's a post, okay? And you can find this also on Amazon.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wait a minute, last but not least, you're gonna need some tacky glue, and I'm gonna be using my handy dandy glue gun, okay, to, to uh, glue on my piece right here on the back, all right? So basically what I'm gonna do with this tacky glue is you wanna put, you wanna put it on something or in something, or I'm gonna actually just take, that's why I got this white paper here, and I'm gonna take it and put it right here at the top, just a little, just like that. That's all you're gonna need. You might not even need that much. I will probably be using a paintbrush to do this, to put this on. You all, you're gonna need a paintbrush, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. And you're gonna need some water. Okay, I got my paintbrush here and some water. And make sure you have yourself a napkin or a paper towel or whatever you need. I be trying to think of everything that I need, but sometimes I do forget some things. Okay, so let's get started. So the very first thing that we're going to do with this earring is we're going to assemble everything. Now this shape that I got right here, uh, I got this out of some tags, some wooden tags. Now I did a video a long time ago on these wooden tags that you could purchase from Walmart. Okay, you get 10 in a, in, a, in a plastic bag, you get 10, and they're wooden tags, and they came in many different sizes. But you can also find these round uh, wooden beads from Michaels. I'm sure Joanne Fabrics has stuff, something like this, a uh, Hobby Lobby, anywhere where it has, uh, where it sells jewelry findings or any wood pieces, any place to sell wood pieces. I'm not sure about Walmart. I don't think Walmart has this, but I know Hobby Lobby, uh, Wal um, Joanne's Fabrics, and uh, Michael's will probably have this, or you can get online and order some stuff like this from Amazon. Now, they do have them this size without the hole, okay? And pretty much get it without the hole. And then you're gonna need this oval. Now, this oval, please, I got 
I purchased from Michaels. I purchased this from Michaels a while ago, and Michaels has a section, uh, like a little kid's section, where they sell wood pieces, okay? And this is where I got that, all right? And I already talked about this. So basically, we're gonna be gluing all of this together. So I have taken the liberty to paint my items, and what you're gonna do is you're going to take and glue this stick on this, but you wanna make sure that when you glue it, that you glue it. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something about this. Now once you make these earrings, okay, you have to allow this to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours Okay, you can go ahead and do what you need to do with it, but don't really mess with it too much because you really want this wood piece to, uh, to really adhere to the wood, okay? Now, the one thing I am going to say about this is that this glue that I'm using, this Airlines Tacky Glue, is awesome it actually is phenomenal you can actually use this for many things y'all many things okay so i'm going to take this i just want to make sure my pieces is lined up as much as possible and you're going to try to place this let me move this stuff to the side you want to try to place this in the center right here at the top like that and you're going to Bring just like this, okay? All right, now what I'm gonna say, even though the glue may show, don't get nervous, because when you put on the gloss, it's going to you won't even be able to see it. And I'm gonna show y'all a piece that I have already created. You will not be able to see it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean this off. Okay, y'all, so the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna take our white paint and we're going to make some dots down the bottom. So we're gonna do three dots. So one, two, and then three, okay? Next, we're going to make three lines. We're gonna make one line on one side, one line in the middle, and then one line on the very end. Then we're gonna come up and we're gonna make three more lines. One line on the side, one line in the middle, and one more line on the end. And then we're gonna do another line right here. All right. And then we're gonna put a line right here. Okay. And then we're going to do three dots on each side. So we're gonna do dot, that and dot. Then we're gonna come over to this side and do three dots. Dot, dot, and dot. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna do a big dot here, if at all possible. We're gonna do another big dot, okay? Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna draw a line right here. Okay, draw your line. And then we're gonna do draw two lines above our dots, a line here, and a line here, okay? Then we're gonna do two small lines, line there and a line here, okay? Then we're gonna go up with dots. 
So we're gonna put a dot here and make sure you put some space in between a dot there. Then another dot, another dot, another dot, another dot, and another dot. Okay, when you get here at the top part here, you're gonna do two lines on each side. One line here, and then another line here. Okay, and we're gonna do that on both sides. One here, and one here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna pretty much set this off on the side, and you want this to dry completely. Okay, you want it to dry. Then you're gonna come and you're gonna use your triple thick. Okay, you're gonna put your triple thick on. Now I'm not gonna show y'all, uh, I'm not gonna apply that because I've already done it. I'm just gonna show you the piece that I already have that has already been done. Okay, so you put your triple thick on. And you can put your triple thick on the front and the back, but this is what your piece is looking like. Okay, beautiful piece, okay? I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the triple thick. Now, I have put the triple thick on. This is a piece that I had previously done, and this is what it looks like, okay? Now, the very last thing that we're going to do with this earring is we are going to add on our backing, which is this. So I pretty much have already put my piece on, and then I'm gonna take this part and I'm going to add my glue with my glue gun. Now, if you are making these to sell, y'all know I always tell y'all, make sure, I'm gonna flip it over because this is nice and dry now, and I'm gonna come up to the top right here and place this on. Okay, y'all, so here is the finished look of the earrings. And I would greatly appreciate it if you all would make sure that you thumbs up the video so that this video and other videos can go into rotation for other people to view. Once again, I want to say thank you all so very much for joining me for this Crafty Vision video. And until my next upload, my beloved kings and queens, peace and blessings. See ya.